Hello, in today's video, we're going to be going over how to set up a standalone VTO uh, villa station with DSS Express S. Now, in this video, we're going to be going over the new VTO 2202F that we sell. And we're just going to get, we're just going to jump right into it. Now, the first thing we want to do is initialize the VTO. So we would want to open up Internet Explorer. and then type in the IP address of the VT. Now by default, it's gonna be 192.168.1.110, but since I've been playing with it, it's, it's been changed. So we're gonna log into the IP address here. And you'll be greeted with the initialization page. So just go ahead and agree, type in a password. We're gonna be using admin123. and an email in case you forget the password. Now in this tutorial, I'm not gonna go through that, but uh, if you never forget the password, or if you ever need to reset it, then you would set up an email here that will receive that QR code. Once you have initialized the unit, we're gonna go ahead and log in and we're gonna set it up. Now, the very first few things you wanna do is go to network, you want to go to SIP server. And in this case, the DSS Express is going to be the SIP server. So we need this to be turned off and we need to tell it that the DSS Express is going to be the SIP server. Now, in this case, the IP address is going to be the IP address of your PC. So typically you would want to open up a command prompt, do an IP config and find the IP address. Now my PC has multiple IP addresses, but this is the one I'm currently using for DSS Express S or DSS Express. So I'll be typing in 192.168.1.200, since that's my PC's uh, PC IP address. The port, by default, it's gonna be 5060, right? We wanna change that to 5080. The password and SIP domain, you're gonna leave this defaulted. Um, the only thing you're gonna be changing is the SIP server username on the bottom and the SIP server password. Um, in this case, it's going to be system because that's how we log into DSS using system and then the password. SIP server is going to be the password of DSS Express. Once that's set up, you're going to go ahead and save it. Uh, the unit will reboot, so we'll wait for that to go through. But in the meantime, we'll go ahead and add the VTO over to DSS Express. So we're going to want to go to device. We're going to hit add. This is going to be VTO. Register mode, we're going to leave it at IP address. Device category, we're going to switch it over to video intercom. IP address is going to be the IP address of the VTO. Port, we'll leave it default at 37777. And username is going to be admin, password. Admin 123, and that's the VTO booting up. Okay, uh, once the device is added, you're gonna get this error, building enable not. So what you're gonna wanna do is disable the building. So we wanna go to config on DSS. Again, we want to open up a new tab, go down to config, open up residence config, and disable. And then hit OK. Then we're going to go back to device, and we're going to see that it's now online. Once that is set up, we're going to refresh the, the VTO's web interface, and we're going to log back in. Admin and admin one. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to local settings. And here, we're going to want to make sure that the calling center period is enabled. This is going to allow the VTO to contact the DSS Express. Once that's set up, we'll hit save. And now, if we press the button on the VTO, it should call DSS Express. We're just going to end the call. And that is how you set up 
uh, a VTO with DSS Express.